Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to properly move over a Ableton session from Mac to PC and how to properly do it where you don't lose any tracks or any information whatsoever. Okay, so a little context. I have this session over here in Ableton on my Hackintosh side of my computer because I have a dual boot PC and Hackintosh system. And basically what I want to do is I want to go ahead and transfer it in a way where I don't lose anything because I have some MIDI tracks over here, such as my bass sampler. And on my bass sampler track, I might have some plugins here that I might not have on my Windows side, such as, you know, the Contact 5, and I'm using this Scarby Prebase bass sampler. And I know for a fact I don't have this on my PC side. So I'm gonna show you guys the best way how to preserve everything, that way it transfers over okay. Okay, first and foremost, I have my drum tracks over here, and luckily I have routed everything into its own little separate audio channel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and Record, enable all of these. Okay, and then make sure they're all set to in. And in the beginning where all the drums happen is I'm gonna go ahead and click the playhead over there and then hit record. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna print all the drum tracks onto its own little audio channels over here. Okay, and then what you wanna do is you wanna convert anything MIDI related over here into an audio channel, as well as keeping the MIDI track intact, that way you can have it as a backup. And the way I do this is I go ahead and click on the, the MIDI track, I right click on it, and I go to duplicate, and what that does is it creates a completely new track with everything on there copied over, including the MIDI data and the plugins. And on that new, on that new track, what you do is you right click and you go to freeze track. And what that does is it prints it into an audio recorder version along with all the plugins processed into that track already. So you're gonna get an audio version of that MIDI track. Okay, and then once that freezing process concludes, you're gonna see a little bit of the tail end appear over here. And then what I do is just right click on it again and go to flatten. And what that does is it'll convert it into an audio track fully printed on there. Then all I do is just go into the original track and just mute the track. Okay, once all the MIDI tracks are converted the way you want, what I do is go to File, I will go to Save As, Save Live Set As. Then I will go into the drive that I created to transfer it over to the PC side. I'll go ahead and put it in the Mac, Ableton Sessions, I'll save it in there. Okay, then immediately what you want to do is go to file and then go to collect all and save and then hit everything yes and then go okay. And what that does is it saves all the files into your backed up drive. And that's it.